comet new? Why is this passing us? We'll be able to see it with our naked eye. So how can we see Comet Neowise tonight? The next time we'll be seeing it will be in 6,800 years. Comet Neowise discovered in March of 2020. It'll make its closest pass of Earth this week, but you can already see it from the Northern Hemisphere. The beautiful comet visible from the North this month in the evening and morning hours. Stargazers and sky watchers are in for a guaranteed treat because the comet has produced a tail, a double tail that stretches for tens of thousands, if not millions of miles across the solar system. So you have to hurry up. Once the comet passes out of sight, it will not return to our corner of space for at least 6,800 years. Dr. Robert Massey of the Royal Astronomical Society of the UK said Neowise was last in the inner solar system 4,500 years ago and its present passage through our inner solar system has changed its orbit, so it will not return for another 68 centuries. How do we see it? Comet Neowise is on uh, one of the best comets to grace our skies since Comet Hale-Bopp in 1997. Astronomer expert expect Neowise will remain visible at least until the end of this month, and though the comet has shown signs of fading, it's still visible to the naked eye. So weather permitting, there's a chance you'll not need a telescope or binoculars. Just keep in mind the comet is only visible for the northern hemisphere and is best seen from northerly attitude, altitudes. Now you can look at it and it'll be uh, positioned basically between uh, below the Big Dipper and the horizon. So look towards the Polaris and then take the Polaris towards the two bottom stars of the Big Dipper and, and just pass that line towards the west or northwest towards the horizon and that's where you'll be able to see Comet Neowise. Look for the comet right after sunset when the skies are dark enough for Neowise to stand out and make sure the skies are clear so you can have an unobstructed view of the horizon. Up until about mid-July, the comet appears brighter just before sunrise, meaning you no longer have to get out of bed early to see it. Joe Massiero, Deputy Principal Investigator for NASA's Neowise Space Telescope, said, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can see it. As the next couple of days progress, it will get higher in the evening skies, so you're going to want to look northwest right under the Big Dipper. Keep your eyes peeled in the northwest skies where you'll find the seven bright stars of the Big Dipper or the Plow, which is part of the biggest constellation of Ursa Major, the Big Bear, and Comet Neowise will pass right under the Big Dipper. And if you plan to watch the comet from big cities like London, then be prepared to grab a pair of binoculars or a small telescope because the city lights, unfortunately, make the uh, viewing a lot more difficult. Using binoculars can make it easier to see the comet's bright tail. Long exposure photography can also help reveal the details in the comet's two tails. Dr. Massiero said, what you want to do is go or right around the time that the first stars start to show up, and so you're not going to see it before that. It's probably about as bright as some of the stars in the Big Dipper. So find out what time your local sunset is, go out about 45 minutes after that, and wait until the first stars start to appear, and that's when you should start looking with your binoculars, he says. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK, so good luck with that. And I'm just going to go after I do this video, try and spot it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.